thousand years later. Hi, Julia here with yet another video and today I want to talk about procrastination. Yeah, that topic, I know. I'm pretty sure we're all masters of it, but today I want to talk about how to actually get things done. First of all, let's figure out why you procrastinate. Actually, several studies suggest that it comes from a place of fear. You might think that the shark from Jaws and that clown from It scarred you for life, but in reality an essay for English 101 can be much scarier. Mostly because you can fail at it. So here's to you, my anxious overachievers. And this is just lemonade, don't worry. Who do you think I am? So procrastination usually happens when you're anxious about something. So you go to YouTube or Tumblr to make yourself feel better. But eventually reality comes to bite you. And when it bites you, you feel awful again. And this is what creates this vicious circle of instant gratification and I know that telling a procrastinator to just stop doing it is like telling someone with anxiety to just stop worrying so I'll try to give you some tips that do not include this simple solution the most effective way to stop procrastinating and that's not coming from me that's coming from the science is to recognize that you don't have to be in a certain mood to do your task most of us believe that you have to be in a certain emotional state to do your work but that's just a lie like the cake in portal. Instead of focusing on your feelings, try to focus on the next step that you have to take. Several studies suggest that you break down your task into several small steps, and I mean really small steps. Picking up your pen to start writing is step one. This is actually how this video started. I borrowed a pen from my friend, so don't underestimate the power of starting to do something. To manage your workday efficiently, it's key to create manageable specific to-do lists. But the procrastinator would be really awesome at creating vague IQ ones. So just pretend you're doing a to-do list for someone else. Try my tips next time you're stuck in the procrastination land and see which ones work. And just remember not to be too hard on yourself. Procrastination is just a bad habit that you have to break. And I think I'm not the only one that says that we'll never see a full end of the procrastination but at least we'll know how to put it in its place and tackle one day at a time. So if you find yourself in a rut again, just remember you have your freshman family, so don't forget to come back here and share your feelings in the comments down below, and we will do our best to support you. So that was Julia with yet another video, and I'll see you in the next one.